you two are such sweethearts for helping me out. I'm going to do something special for you. I would never have gotten these home without your help. <sighs> I see you're admiring my family. These are my boys, Carl and John. They're all grown up now and have families of their own. They visit me a lot. Oh, <laughs> those are also my babies. Well, not exactly my babies. They're two pigeons from the park. I call the big one Rick and the smaller one Sue. I've watched them grow from chicks to full-grown pigeons. I want you two to have this for carrying my groceries. But I want to do something special for you. I know. Do you like apple crumb cake? <gasps> then I'll bake you one after I do all my chores. I have to feed the pigeons in the park, go to the doctor for a checkup, sweep the floor, clean the dishes, and hang my wet laundry on the line. Isn't that great? She's going to make us an apple crumb cake. I can almost taste it now. It's going to be a while, Samuel. She has lots of chores to do. Well, we're going to help her with those anyway, right? Oh, yeah. With the two of us helping her, Mrs. Lopez will finish them a lot quicker. Now, when the pigeons come, you break off a small piece of bread and throw it to them. Ready? Here you go, my babies. Hey, that was mine. Oh, I got to it first. Why don't you two share that piece? <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Sue. Come on, be nice. Oh, give me that back. It's mine. No fighting. There's enough for everyone. Hey, I'm eating here. No, I got this one. I didn't get any yeah. Calm down, my oh, baby. Ouch. Oh, I don't like it when they get like this, arguing and grabbing. But they are my darlings. I have to run back to my home and get more bread. Oh, got any more bread? No. How about you? You got any? Huh? No. But Mrs. Lopez went back to get you more. Even though all of you acted so badly... We acted badly? You made Mrs. Lopez feel badly. She doesn't like to see you fight. Oh, we don't want to make her feel bad. She's our friend. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you know how to share? We've never tried. If you shared, that would make Mrs. Lopez happy. How do we do it? We want to make Mrs. Lopez happy. I'll pretend I'm a teacher. I might be able to teach you how to work together and share. The art of cooperation. There's more than enough bread for all of you to share. All you have to do is line up and wait your turn. That's it? Yes. We can do that. Sure. I got more bread. Please, my darlings, try to get along this time. Oh, my! What good birds! And one for you? Here's a piece for you, and you, and that's it. We're done. I'm off to the doctor for my checkup. Will you two wait for me at my home? I promise to bake you an apple crumb cake, and I will. Oh, hey guys, how we do? Terrific. You waited in line, and everyone got a piece of bread. Cooperation in action. You made Mrs. Lopez very happy. I'm glad. She's very good to us. Maybe we should do something for her. Oh, that's a good idea, but what? Hey, Samuel, if they helped us, we could get Mrs. Lopez's chores done even faster. Good idea, Nina. Do you guys want to help Mrs. Lopez with her chores? Sure. I'll pretend I'm the leader of a marching band, and 
you can follow me to Operation Cleanup. We've got dishes to clean, the floor to sweep, and laundry to hang. Ready? Let's get busy. Yes! Hold it. Everyone, please come on over here. We're not doing this right. Rick and Sue, you sweep the dust into the dustpan and put it in the garbage. And look at the laundry. It has to be hung neatly or it won't dry all the way. If two pigeons bring out the clothes and another clipped on clothespins, then you could hang the laundry the right way. If we work together and cooperate, we can get everything done by the time Mrs. Lopez gets home. Got it! While they're doing that, Samuel, you and I can clean the dishes. I wash, you dry. Deal! Let's get busy! My laundry is done. The dishes? You did that too? Oh, thank you all very much. Now, I want to do something for all of you. Line up for apple crumb cake. For all my helpers, I cut you a special piece, Samuel. He's a slim pig, a very thin pig. He's a skinny little piggy, and he's all right. He's a slim pig, a very thin pig. He's a skinny, smart piggy. He's out of sight. Slim pig. Slim pig. Slim pig. It must be too early to wake up. I didn't hear a cockadoodle do. No, it's not too early. That's the sun. It's past time to wake up. Why didn't Rooster crow? Nobody's awake yet. I better go see if Rooster is all right. Rooster, are you all right? No, I've got a touch of the cockadoodle flu. I can't crow. It's terrible. Oh, no. Is there anything I can do for you? You can wake everyone up. Me? Sure. There's nothing to it, and it would really help me out. Okay, Rooster. You just get well and leave the waking up to me. Thanks, Slim. And listen, everyone has to be up before the sun gets over the apple tree, or else they'll miss the morning. Miss the morning? Don't worry, I won't let anyone miss the morning. So how do I wake everyone up? Rooster? I guess I'll just have to figure it out for myself. So how does Rooster do it? He usually stands up here and yells, cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Hmm, I'd better try again. Cock-a-doodle-doo! <laughs> That still wasn't loud enough. I'd better go see if Mouse and Dog can help. Dog! Little Chick! Mouse, wake up! Go back to bed, Slim. It's not time to wake up yet. We haven't heard Rooster. And you won't, Mouse. Rooster's sick. He's got the cockadoodle flu. He asked me to wake everyone up, so I cockadoodle dude, but. You did? I didn't hear you. That's the problem. I wasn't loud enough. I bet I can wake everyone up. Listen to this. Funny. It worked the other night. Hey, look. It woke Duck up. 
Oh, Mallard, is it that late already? It is that late, Duck. And pretty soon, the sun will be over the apple tree. Over the apple tree? I almost missed the morning. What happened to Rooster? Rooster's got the cockadoodle flu, so we have to wake everyone up. Let's go up to Rooster's place, and Dog can make his noise from up there. That should do it. Good idea, but we better scurry, because we've got to hurry. Miss a morning, and tomorrow will soon be knocking at your door. Come on, everyone. We've got no time to lose. Here we are, Slim. Go ahead, Dog. Okay, but my howl is even louder than my bark. Is everybody ready? I don't believe it. That wasn't loud enough either. I can't howl or cock a doodle do or anything, but I can squeak pretty loudly. Great, Mouse. Go for it. Okay, but you better cover your ears. My squeak has been known to break glass in the next county. Squeak! It didn't work, so I'm not loud enough. Dog isn't loud enough, and Mouse isn't loud enough. But don't you worry, Slim, because he who quacks last quacks the loudest. Make it good, Duck. You're a last chance. Uh, quack! Oof, oof. Oh, wow! That was great, Doc. But it didn't work. And don't forget, miss a morning, and tomorrow will soon be knocking on your door. What are we going to do? We've, We've got, got to, to think, think of, of something. something. Hey, you guys. Not so loud. I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, Squirrel, but we're just... Wait a minute. That's it. When you guys made a noise together, you woke up Squirrel. So maybe if we all make our noises together, then we'll be loud enough to wake up everybody. Very good, Slim. They who quack together quack the loudest. Come on, everybody. Okay, all together. One, two, three. <coughs> Very good, little chick. But we have to make our noises all together at the same time. <coughs> and we've got to wake everyone up this time. Because look, the sun is almost over the apple tree. This noise has got to be as loud as possible. If you need a louder tone, try a megaphone. What's a megaphone? A megaphone is like the big end of a horn. It makes sounds louder. Where are we ever going to get a megaphone? Hey, Mouse, I can be a megaphone. Quick, let's make our sound into me. Slim, you never cease to amaze me. Okay, everyone, all together now. One... Two, three. <gasps> it worked! We did it! Yay! Yay! Slim? Slim? Rooster, you're better. A little. And I want to thank you for waking everybody up. Our pleasure. Now. Could I ask you for one more favor? Sure, Rooster. What is it? Keep it down! <laughs> None of us could do it alone. But then we figured out if we all made our noises together, we'd be loud enough to wake everyone up. And it worked. <laughs> Good night, Mama. Good night, Slim. <sighs> oh, Good night, Slim. Good night, Slim. <laughs> Ah! Attention, everyone! This is just a test. Do not wake up. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Good as new. <laughs> <laughs>